catch going for the TV missile once again to the left, where it's TV missile and, and Sunny with a sideways dodge. As Rockstar hits the TV at the end, and Hive seems to be repairing midair. I still. <laughs> I cannot do that. I don't get how you guys can do that. Alright guys, hello, this is Heap with another tutorial, actually my first tutorial on this game. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to repair your helicopter mid-air um, without carrying ex uh, fire extinguisher. So let's quickly get rid of this, uh, actually just a bit later, and I'll show you exactly what this is all about. So, there's a few things you have to familiarize yourself with before attempting a mid-air repair. That is, um, free looking inside of your cockpit, you want to know exactly where your button is. Uh, usually it's on the right mouse button, that's where you're going to find yours, minus the control, but that's irrelevant. Um, and one concept of Battlefield is that wherever you look is going to be the direction you exit your vehicle into. It's pretty, it's pretty straightforward, you're going to notice it's exactly the direction that I'm looking and my position relative to my vehicle is also determined by this. So if I look a bit more to this side, I'm going to end up a little more in front. If I look more to this side, I'm going to end up a little more away from the helicopter. So, um, how exactly is that relevant? Well, I'm going to show you now after I quickly kill myself with a short cut to my next respawn. Alright, here we are again. That's my beautiful wreckage here. And before we get going, I want you to know that there's a bug in Battlefield, uh, which is not very widespread. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm pretty much the only guy to complain about this. Um, whenever you exit your helicopter for the first time, it's not exactly going to work as intended. Because you get spawned way too low. And you're going to notice that the second time I do this, I'm going to get spawned way, way above where I just got spawned. Okay, so, what you want to do is, um, you want to have a nice forward momentum. You're going to see the arrow on your radar altimeter here, showing how fast you're ascending or descending. And you want to have it around here, somewhere around this mark. That means you have good upward momentum. And then, basically perform this. And ignore the Steam messages, please, because I think that's my girlfriend spamming me. <laughs> to come to Discord, but yeah, just ignore that. So what you want to do is, um, you're going to go up with a nice upward momentum, kind of bank your helicopter using the bank angle indicator just about right there, and you want to do that quickly because when you hold this position for too long, you're going to carry on momentum to this side, and if you try to do this, your helicopter's fly going to fly away underneath you, and that's not going to be a scenario that you really want. So go mostly upwards. Tilt quickly, look to the look to the side just a bit because if you look too far, you're gonna end up way way away from your helicopter like, like this, and now you can't really stand on top of it. So look about like this, and then free look to this side or to this side. It doesn't really matter. You can do it to whichever side you want, but I'm more comfortable doing it to the right. Uh, I guess that depends on you really. Go up, bank it like this, and then what you want to do is quickly grab a hold of your W key, which you should be holding anyway, because you're trying to go up and walk onto your helicopter like this. I'm currently always holding the W key in order not to slide off the slope. And this is where you're going to be able to repair your helicopter. And now I'm just going to show you how exactly to do this. And we forgot to get rid of the fire extinguisher, but that's no big deal. I'm just going <laughs> to... You're going to trust me that I'm not using it. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So let's disable ourselves really quickly. We missed that. Uh, it's horrendous, but okay. Alright, now you can see I'm disabled. And now I'm just tilting my helicopter to the side of it. And that was a bit of a bad angle, but let's do this again. And there we go. Now let's disable it again because that was really terrible. Terrible attempt because I'm stuck under this thing and I don't want to crash into it. And as you can see, I'm just standing nicely on top of my helicopter. I can repair basically all the way up if I want to, if I have the time to. But for public situations or whenever you really need for a quick repair and you don't have your fire extinguisher on board, that's going to suffice to get out of a really, really terrible situation with your helicopter. So if you want to recreate this, put your bank angle indicator about here. Make sure your upward momentum is good, pretty nice. And then quickly do this, okay? Just get this motion in. Your mouse is gonna do this motion, just like this. Because you're gonna ex exit like this, and then as soon as you press the button of to exit your vehicle, you're gonna look back. So it's just this motion. 
And if you're feeling like you're not getting on top of your helicopter, just keep put a little sprint in at the end. And then when you get back in, switch back. If there's a gunner on your on your gunner seat, just you know the deal. Get back in, get back out, and back in, and you're going to be able to fly away without anyone noticing what happened. You can also um, use this. Well, it's not really that <laughs> you're not going to use this, but you can also like fire stuff from here. Unless someone joining, uh, they don't know I'm recording, so I don't care. It's already over anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna want to be on this guy now, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun preparing your helicopter like this. Uh, leave feedback in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Tell me what I could do better, and cheers.